Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. It is currently 7.30 p. early 7.30 a.m. and I decided not to go for breakfast today. But today is a very exciting day because it's my off day which means I do not have to report to work. But I'm probably going to go to the media center because I need to charge my camera battery and edit yesterday's vlog. I'm going to roll up this thingy. Usually I stand outside but I can't be bothered. I wanted to sleep in but it's so hot. My cat bed has like sweat marks and I'm sweating like crazy. It's always easier to do this with two people by the way. The cold breeze feels so good. Good morning! I'm gonna wash my hair today. I didn't wash it yesterday. Let's undo my braids. Honestly, this camp is getting much better by the day. It's actually really good. Hi, Annie! Annie's back from breakfast. And I'm so happy to see the changes. The toilet used to be really grim, but apparently they increased the number of workers from 70 to 542. There is hope. I went to the toilet yesterday and it was clean. And they also have cooling buses, which I'm going to show you all of their efforts today in my vlog. But also I want to investigate if the UK contingent is really leaving today. Because that's so sad. When we were at the dining hall yesterday there were so many of them crying and they said they don't want to leave anyway i want to update you guys i lost the <laughs> o on my crocs and my crocs literally looks depressing i knew it i lost a gibbet here and here i already lost the n a long time ago anyway we need to shower so i will talk to you once i prepare my shower bag and go to the shower okay guys i've showered washed my hair and everything now i'm gonna go to the ist hub cool down maybe get some water and then i want to get acupuncture at my back because it hurt at the staff hub there's a korean medicine center where you can get acupuncture and like a sweet herbal medicine and i actually went two or three days ago for my neck but today i'm gonna go for my back and i'll show you what it's like it's all free so that's exciting Upon coming in, you'll get a seat. I'm second in line. Hey! hey what's your name? Mattia. Where are you from? Italy. Italy? I went to um, Milan and Rome. Very, very nice place. Very are you having fun? Yeah, yeah, yes? yeah, a lot, a lot, a lot. You're gonna wait in line to get a consultation. Okay. So they just checked my temperature. Checking the blood pressure. Done checking everything. Now go into the second room. What is this? Ah, uh, this is a uh, Korean herbal medicine. Mm -hmm. The name of this is Tengmexan. Oh. The effect of this is uh, rehydration. Okay. Uh, you can drink it uh, anytime. Okay. Okay. I'll try it now. Okay. I'm gonna try this medicine. Mmm! <laughs> it's very nice and it's sweet. Did you like it? Yeah. Nice? Yeah, yeah. Very it's nice. nice. Very nice. Very nice. I finished it. It's very nice. Okay, guys, so I'm currently waiting to get my acupuncture. There's this ICT machine next to me, and yeah. I'll try to show you when they put the needle in my bag. So I have needles in my bag, but I couldn't film it when she was putting it because I couldn't move. I had to stay still. Do you see it? There. <laughs> it hurt like a little bit. Actually no, it stung a little bit like an ant bite, but not like so painful. That is the second step. It basically massages my back. It's an ICT therapy, I think. I don't know what you can see. I can't really move, so my angles are pretty limited. We're done with the treatment and I got a free bag of goodies. I've put on my sunscreen and now 
I am heading towards the media center and it is 30 degrees but I feel like I've somewhat gotten used to the weather here already. The first few days was unbearable but now I think I'm just used to it. <laughs> I'm still gonna try and hitch a ride on the way there because I'm kind of tired to walk a long way and hopefully I'll be able to hitch a ride but if not, I'll just go through the walking tunnel. As you can see, it's a very, very hot day. This is normal summer. I mean, even at the last Jamboree in West Virginia, it was just as hot, but it wasn't humid. There wasn't aircon everywhere. And in Korea, you can just go in for aircon now because they have these things called cooling bus where you can sit down and cool yourself. So I might go and check it out just so that I can show you guys. They've really made a lot of efforts to make the conditions better for us at the Jamboree. Also, I found out that my friend, like the Singapore, contingent is leaving today for good because their embassy told them to leave so that's pretty sad there's still a few more contingents still gonna be here Malaysians we're not leaving although I think some did leave but I really think it's gonna get much better over the next few days so I'm looking forward to that this is what the walking tunnels look like the sprinkler turns on I don't know ever so often and my friend told me that they flattened the ground because previously it was not that so there's shade here for you to walk and this is we also call this the trading black market as you can see kids in front there are setting up to trade hello hello some guy just handed me water just so nice of them because i am currently dying in this heat as you can see, they're installing lights. It's good that they're installing street lights because usually it's so dark and we have to use our flashlight to see the road. But now that they've installed lights, we can walk comfortably at night. Today is one of those hard days where I can't find someone to hitch a ride from. I've stopped three cars and they couldn't take me. So I'm doing this walk of hell. Oh. I'm so hot and tired. As you can see, the UK contingent is leaving. So sad to see them leave, oh my god. All leaving. There are still kids out and about, but it's significantly less than the other days because I think a lot of people are leaving. <laughs> What country are you from? Hungary. Hungary. Where are you from? Hungary. I'm from Malaysia. That's so cool. Oh. That's so cool. Are you enjoying the jamboree? Yes. 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 Hungary is the best. <laughs> you are the best of camp. So this place is called cooling. This is inside the cooling center. Basically, what it is is just aircon buses, and then people just come here to cool down. But I'm almost at the media center, so I'm gonna keep going. But as you can see, it's very cool. They're handing out water here. It's so okay, I have one. Thank you. So they're giving out free ice cream here. I got one. Hot ice cream. Oh, to go. Hey. Guys, this is Jackie Hi. from Singapore. We were supposed to go to the beach party together today, but guess what? He's leaving today. <laughs> so sad. Yeah. So she's gonna go with me instead. Okay, we'll go together. <laughs> Maybe I'll take yeah. a shot there. Oh, <laughs> come. <laughs> he is the expert of hitchhiking. So, oh, tell them where you came from and your journey here. Well, I started hitchhiking from my hometown in Austria on 22nd of February. February? And, yeah. And I did 18,351 kilometers from Austria all the way to India. I wanted to make it all the way to the Jamboree, but then I ran out of time. And and so I took a plane from Delhi to come here to Korea. But to get to the Jamboree campsite, I hitchhiked two more times from the airport. <laughs> I wish I had the confidence to hitchhike. Even here, I'm like this. <laughs> no, you have to be like this. <laughs> Wave your arms like a penguin or like a flamingo or something. But have you ever been rejected? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Many times. I feel so sad when they say no. Yeah, then I don't want to try again. You get used to it. You get used to it. And you have to be like patient sometimes. The longest time I waited was almost two hours. After five minutes, I'm like, yeah, you know what? I'll just walk. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sometimes I felt like that too, I have to be honest. But sometimes you just have to stay and just... Persevere. You know. Yeah, exactly. Especially when you're doing other things like when you're taking a break, having some food.
food. So it's really important, you know, stay hydrated, having some food. Don't think, oh shit, I have to do it fast so I can get on the road again. Take your time and then you'll, you'll find out that you most of the time are in the right spot at the right time and then you find the right um, lift with people. Wow! If you guys want to see his hitchhiking stories, I'll put his Instagram here. Hitchhiking underscore dog. Yes. From Germany and Malaysia. Well. <laughs> Thank you. I'm trying to edit my video, my vlog from yesterday, but I keep getting distracted and I don't really feel like editing. I don't have. Oh my god. I my Malaysia neighbor. Malaysia Only got eight of you here. How can I not give it to my neighbor? Yeah, how can he not give yeah. it to his neighbor? Abang <laughs> Adik, <laughs> There you go. You have to do the friendship now. Yeah. Must wear this with your the Asia. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey okay, guys. I have the Singapore. Do you have the Malaysian one already? Uh, no. Yeah, right. Okay, yeah, of course. Okay, but this is smelly also. I'm not gonna wash it. Like, I don't, I don't wash people, the scarves that people give me. I'm just gonna keep this it. This is the one I've been wearing yeah, every so day. I know, like, okay, presenting my smelly Malaysian scarf. I'm a Singaporean scarf now. <laughs> Neighbor things. <laughs> it is currently 2.45 and Annie is finally at the food house area and I'm gonna go and meet her there. Maybe try and get some food because I'm really really hungry. So for lunch today, I'm having ramen. I also got this Korean fried chicken over there. The one that I ate yesterday but it's not very nice. Oh, I think it's Shin Ramen. I have a positive feeling it is. I'm taking out the brain sprout. It's so hot. I'm sitting in one of the tunnels. It's always the hardest in the afternoon. 10 o'clock until 6 p.m. It literally feels like hell. Okay guys, so now we're gonna go into the air-conditioned bus. It's literally just parked as an air-con bus. We're gonna go in. <laughs> we're in the air-con bus. We're at the stage. They're setting up seats for the K-pop concert tomorrow. Truck with seats. It has a 30,000 seat capacity. And honestly, I don't even know how many people are left here. And that's if everyone decides to come for it. We're going to go back and put our bags in our tent and go to the peach party. It's only nice to walk back to the campsite at this time because if it was any earlier, I literally can only take five steps before I feel like passing out. Today, I felt like passing out the entire day because it was so hot and I couldn't stand it. Even the cooling bus was not cool enough for me. I felt so lightheaded but after I went to the media center and I got some water and the aircon there is really strong, I felt better. Guys, this is insane. Look how many cooling buses there are at the ISC sub camp. Four, eight, there's 12, 14 cooling buses, man. And by the way, ISTs, like in the day, we're always at work. Okay, we are back at the campsite. Oh, I love camping. Guys, do you love camping? Zayu, <laughs> why are you so fake? I'm still living. <laughs> so right now, we're trying to find a way to the beach and the line is insanely long. We're gonna try to get a taxi from the road. Any, you feeling good? It's sunset behind us. Hi, Zinu. Come here, Zinu. This little Ade, she's like baby. How old are you? 17? 18? Yes. Do you want to say hi? hi. your name and where you're from? I'm Biha from Myanmar, the one and only in the continent. Huh? You're the only one from Myanmar? I am. Wow! Yeah. Yeah. So who, who are you tenting with? Uh, a JBD from Indonesia. Oh. It's called. Line slightly fucking insane. Yeah. I'm so excited to party. This is a bird's eye view of the campsite. So nice. Any show me live in the music video. What about trust? You know I never meant to hurt you. I gotta. <laughs> but I'm missing.
miss you. Okay, uh, stand here. <laughs> okay guys, so we are by the road outside the main entrance. Reese has booked a taxi already. Miss has lost her voice. Try to say a few words. We are full. I am so excited. <laughs> okay. We are in the taxi. God. Oh my god, this place is such a oh good vibe. <gasps> so nice, what the fuck? Oh my god, look at this! Oh my god, such a vibe! Guys, I don't know if you can see this, but this sand art is our logo and it says draw your dreams. So nice! In the distance, the stage. These dancers were on Street Woman Fighter! Guys, look at the trees. Oh my god. It's moving. The light. Oi! <laughs> so we ordered chicken and fries for dinner. Let's do a taste test. Reese and Classic is saying it's sauced up. We shall try. Reese <laughs> also do have rice. Bro, they have fireworks in the distance. Okay guys, so I'm leaving my phone with Annie and Kasi there because the party is in a pool and I don't want to drop my camera and I want to have the most fun that I can have. Annie and Kasi are going to sit here. Me and Reese are going to have fun. Black pink in your area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Woo! So the party's over, it's 11.30 The line's insanely long so we're just gonna get a taxi Three minutes away Abang brother Yo 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 We came too late, the party was lit but it ended too early So tomorrow what time are we coming? 4.30 Alright bro The party was lit though, like the lifeguard was also lit It was so fun And I bought new shorts cause my shorts drenched So I'm wearing like can you show my outfit? I'm wearing grandpa shorts. Ding. We are in the cab. Did you guys have a lit time? Not that. Okay. I had a lit time. Hey, we had a lit time listening to Big Bang from afar. I was partying with the lifeguard. He was dancing. He was whistling to the beat and dancing with me. We made it back to the chamber. But I'm gonna end my vlog here because I'm gonna go, just gonna shower and go to sleep. So thank you guys for watching and see you in my next vlog. Bye!